An ex-WWE and Impact star has made a return to AEW. Plus, the latest on the backstage heat between Sammy Guevara and Eddie Kingston. And we have an update on Tyson Fury pertaining to Clash at the Castle on Saturday. It's all in the wrestling news right now. A big return for an ex-WWE and Impact star took place on last night's Dynamite. T.E. Who are we talking about, Andrew? We're talking about W. Morrissey. So, obviously, you know, a few months ago, he made his surprise AEW debut, but last night he made his return and uh, absolutely obliterated the wingman in uh, <laughs> in very quick order. Um, so this led to then Stokely Hathaway coming out and presenting, as he does with everybody these days, presenting Morrissey with a business card, which Morrissey, he accepted it and put it in his pocket. And then as they were walking towards the back, Tony Schiavone attempted to get an explanation afterwards, but then Hathaway was not having it, refused to answer, backed up by Morrissey, but my God, was Tony Schiavone ready to throw hands last <laughs> night? My God, and everybody was chanting for him as well, bless him. I, that's the match that I want to see. Um, so at the moment, so obviously while still with Impact Wrestling, Morrissey made his AEW debut in May uh, as one of MJF's hired guns in his efforts to thwart Wardlow, who was attempting to get a match with him, a double or nothing. Wardlow got the victory and Morrissey wrapped up with Impact that same month as well. And then since then, he's only wrestled once with that being uh, a match in it was an June. indie match, wasn't it? I wish I could remember the promotion. Mm. I apologise. Um, and as of this writing, AEW has not sent out their, you know, the hashtag All Elite person is we here on Brick background. We haven't seen the picture backgrounds. of Morrissey on a brick wall yes. yet. Yes, 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 yes. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it was awesome to see him. Every, I feel like every single time we see him, he looks to be in even better shape. Mm. Which he's is crazy. Yeah, he's he would be an asset to anybody that would change. I'm surprised that WWE haven't put the call in yet, if they haven't already. I mean, they oh, might there's got to be some interest, it. right? Yeah. You'd think so, at least, because there's not too many, other than like Omos, who re in recent weeks hasn't really been seen on TV. There's no real big monsters, I feel like. See, yeah. Oh, if, if only we had a whole. <laughs> this Vince has been away now. Oh, now we want them to come back. Now, right, now, we now can't they want him. big wrestlers yeah. back. They didn't before. <laughs> Well, I mean, that goes I to show this lot. The, the regime has changed, hasn't it? The yes. regime has changed. It has indeed. Uh, who would we like to see W. Morrissey get in there with? I feel like he's one of these guys. Do you get like the big man who have good fights with the big men? Yes. Uh, I feel like I feel like even Keith Lee might have some fun. Keith Lee would be awesome. Lance mm. Archer, I think, as well. Ooh. Two big men, them two going out, it'd be awesome. I'd kind of like to see. Uh, I think he's spoken before in the past of who he wants to wrestle, and he said, you know, obviously like Omega and Moxley. I personally, with the stuff that's going on between Christian Cage and Jungle Boy, if Luchasaurus is in Jungle Boy's corner, why not have W. Morrissey in Christian's corner? As a fake Luchasaurus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. But like, 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 like the end, like NWO Sting. <laughs> yeah. NWO Luchasaurus. It's like one of those masks, you know, where you go to like, I don't know if uh, if, if US viewers will probably won't know what I'm on about, but like, you know, where you go to Charlie Chokes or somewhere, like a wacky warehouse. <laughs> a wacky warehouse. And you get like the cardboard masks, like party masks. <laughs> if you just wear like, like... Where you cut the nose bit out yeah, so it yeah. sprongs out. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, it, and it's colored green crayon. I looked at it. And everyone well, goes, wouldn't oh, hey, that, Luchasaurus. But... <laughs> no one questions it. I don't know. It. Like, it feels like something that a heel Christian would do to bring someone on board to help him in his corner against uh, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. I don't know. But I'd also kind of like to see, I think he's spoken before about wanting to have a match with Hangman Page, and I'd be absolutely up for seeing that as well. Mm, mm. Quite intriguing, that one. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what W. Morrissey could potentially yeah, do. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's dip back to Impact, W. Morrissey's former home. Uh, for something from Five for Select. Now, Lady Frost put out on Twitter uh, a little while ago that she was, she'd asked for a release from Impact Wrestling. She mm -hmm. was very grateful for her time there, but she wanted to call time on it. Now, Five for Select have told us that that release request has not been granted uh, to Lady Frost. Uh, now, they go into a bit more detail about the sort of deal that she was on. And, and if this is the case, you kind of get the vibe as to why she would want to be away. Mm. Uh, now, Lady Frost, this is quoted from Five for Select. Thank you, Sean and the team. Lady Frost has not been at recent Impact Wrestling tapings, and there are no creative plans for her at the moment. Uh, we've been told that she's made it clear via numerous avenues she wishes to be released and requested that release directly to Anthem's president and CEO, Leonard Asper. Frost is on an exclusive paid per appearance deal with Impact and only gets paid whenever she's used. 
So she's exclusive to Impact. Mm. She gets paid when she's used, but they're not using her. <sighs> uh, we had a chat with AC Romero on Desert Island Graps a few months back, and it was a similar situation to him, mm. whereby he was turning up and they were like, there's nothing for you. And it's not like a case of come back next week because they tape Impact in bulk. Yeah. It's like, well, if there's nothing for you this week, then you won't be on TV for a month. Yeah. Try again next month. And that's that. Uh, Five for Select go on to say, we're told that Frost needed to schedule a medical procedure earlier this year and had informed impact management of such and that she would be sidelined. Despite this, Frost was booked for the Dallas tapings in April without hotel or flight accommodations from the company and ended up paying out of pocket. After that, Frost made impact management aware of her need for the aforementioned procedure after appearing at those tapings and said she was left in the dark about her status while she was sidelined and was told that she wouldn't be used in the immediate future. I guess this because and whether there's been some communication breakdown there where she said, I need time off, and then they've granted a time off, and then she's kind of asked, like, all right, I'm coming off my time off, now what? Yeah. And they've like, well, we've got nothing factored in uh -huh. for you. When Frost asked for her release, say Fightful, she was asked if she wanted to sit out the duration of her contract. Uh, that would actually leave her unpaid for over two years to do so. Oh, my God. So it's a, it's a tough situation for Lady Frost right now, whereby she wants to be released from her deal mm. so she can go and earn money and ply her trade. Yes. However, she can choose to sit out her deal and then not use her, or she can kind of remain in this limbo type situation where they may need her, they may not need her, and she may earn about a pocket for for it. Mm. Um, uh, Fightful Select have reached out to Impact Wrestling for comment on that matter. Uh, anyway, the backstage drama between Eddie Kingston and Sammy Guevara we move on to now. Mm. Uh, it's been a quite a talking point this week uh, <laughs> behind the scenes in AE Dub, and we have an update, don't we? We do from Fightful Select as well. So Eddie Kingston and Sammy Guevara squashed their issues backstage at last night's Dynamite show. Uh, they haven't learned of the context of what was said, but they were told they had a conversation, shook hands, and decided to move on from the issues that led to Kingston getting suspended for two weeks too. So I'm glad. I'm glad there's 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 conversations at least being had between people who have issues with one another and they're able to just like put that to one side finally as well. The easiest thing to do is if you're having a problem with somebody is talk to them about it. Because yeah. otherwise it just turns into a big old green horrible bogey. Yeah. It just festers in your head. <laughs> a bogey? Bogey. A snotty bogey. A snotty bogey of discontent. It just builds up, <laughs> builds up, builds up. So um, <laughs> glad things seem to be, according to reports, on men with those two. Yeah. Kingston's going to batter Ishii on mm -hmm. Sunday, take some stress out on him. Uh, Guevara not on the card for All Out. No. I mean... Don't rush to add any more matches, AEW. Yeah, please. Like, it is very oversubscribed. Um, but Still got Rampage, though, haven't we? Oh, yes. No. Oh, cool. Another four matches announced. <laughs> I feel like I've, this is kind of the, the wrestling equivalent of the Mr. Creosote sketch from Monty Python's <laughs> Meaning of Life. <laughs> Sammy Guevara being the waffer thin mint that is added to the equation. Uh, let's look to Saturday. Saturday. Saturday nights. All right for fighting in Cardiff. Uh, Tyson Fury, for the longest of times, was connected to Clash of the Castle. Yep. Uh, we spoke to his wife, Paris, uh, about uh, his relationship with WWE, saying he and Vince McMahon are always on speaking mm -hmm. terms. Uh, and, and it was looking like, because he was constantly throwing little barbs at Drew, and Drew was throwing a bit back. We thought he'd be involved at Clash of the Castle, and it kind of all went very quiet. I think a lot of us, I think a lot of us at the time was like, it's going to be the main event at Clash of the Castle, isn't it? There was, be there was a Tyson. school of thought there was. it would be Drew versus Tyson. Yeah. Uh, not happening. Uh, give me sports. Say sources close to Tyson Fury have told us that he will be in Cardiff this weekend for WrestleFest, as well as the big clash at the Castle Show on Saturday evening. So Tyson's going to be in the crowd with us. Mm. However, we've been told that Tyson almost certainly won't be doing anything physically on the show and could just appear in the crowd as he did on SmackDown's debut on Fox in October. The decision to keep Tyson away from the ring is likely due to the fact that he doesn't want to risk picking up an injury out of a potential return to boxing over the coming months. I just, I find it difficult to think that they wouldn't make him do, they wouldn't have a little something. Yeah. After all that, after all that build they did earlier in the year. 
I uh, even just a little stare down. Well, that's what I'm thinking. So Roman a little pop. I'm thinking perhaps. I'm thinking perhaps if uh, if Drew doesn't do it, if Drew doesn't pick up the belts, you could have. If Tyson's in the front row, he could just be laughing at Drew McIntyre or something after the match. Oh. And then maybe that sort of leads to something um, between the two at some point. Maybe. I think there needs to be after all the barbs and all the teasing between the two, there needs to be a little. Even if it's a little smidgen of something that progresses this into something that we actually do see happen inside a wrestling ring, I uh, I think we get the planting of the seeds of that at Clash. What if it's Tyson Fury, um, Roman Reigns is hollering at him through the match, and then the conclusion of the match, Tyson just climbs over the guardrail and bops Roman. Bop. That I mean, that'd be a claim or then one, you've two, got three. then you've got a storyline there, which I'm I don't know if people would want. Then you've got the storyline there. If Drew does pick up the win and is helped by Tyson Fury in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the referee gets knocked down, so Tyson jumps the bar barricade, puts easy. the referee Done. shirt on. <laughs> Literally puts the referee shirt on, it's like clinging onto yeah. him. <laughs> like a little bikini top or something. Oh, we're selling it. Hey, look, you're welcome, <laughs> WWE. I'm sure you got your plans ready already but there you go you're very welcome to it uh, we'll do live reactions for clash the castle on saturday adam pacitti will be live here in this studio uh, doing clash the castle reaction i say this studio in that room over there uh myself and yourself oh. will be in cardiff it's not registered yet in my head still uh, i'm so excited though over there are my suitcase is oh, my yeah. suitcase just That's like how Drew ready McIntyre we are. Suitcase. That's how ready we are. In fact, what I'm going to do. Very You're quickly. going to bring it over? I want to thank my good lady, right? Yeah. Because my suitcase, it turns out, was broken. Oh, no. I couldn't, so I was like, we've only got one other massive suitcase that we're taking on holiday with us. So I borrowed Alex's lovely little rose gold number. Oh. Isn't oh, that fancy dancing? that. So thank you, honey. Love you. Miss you. See you in a few days. I've borrowed your suitcase. <laughs> That was beautiful. So that. Makeup out, except the ones that are my shade. Uh, so that's how ready we are. We're going to well, be yeah. there. I'm not. I haven't packed out yet. But I'm going on Saturday, though. You're so. going on Saturday. Yes. Sam and I are heading down this Today. after flipping noon. You are. Uh, you'll, hopefully, we'll catch up when we're there. Now, we're planning to go for beers after the show, but mm -hmm. we've just been told there's a press conference. We have. Paul Levesque himself. Mm, he, he gave me a ring. <laughs> he did. All right, mate. So uh, keep an eye on our socials. If we do, hopefully we'll do some drinks at a pub afterwards. Fingers crossed. Uh, if not, we will certainly do drinks maybe the Friday. I don't know. Keep an eye on at Tom Campbell, at Lee Sam Driver, at Cultaholic, at that Andrew John, at... Um, is he still Owen banking, underscore, Owen Mawson underscore. Owen Mawson underscore, something like that. Human. Fuming. Be fuming. Uh, and look out on the channel. If you can't be there, you'll be seeing uh, conversations with some of the stars of WWE. Uh, we are going to be speaking to them tomorrow morning. So they'll be popping up on the channel pretty much tomorrow afternoon, I Ooh, would say. So, exciting. We've got lots going on. Loads going on. So we'll see you there, hopefully. Or if you want to stay here and keep up to date, we'll have the latest wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Keys, keys. Love you. Bye.